Fox Business alerts setting up a big fight over national security versus privacy. Attorney General Bill Barr is now reportedly asking Facebook to delay plans to encrypt Facebook messages. Jackie DeAngelis has the very latest on this. Jackie. Good evening to you, David. That's right. A new request from the Attorney General to Facebook saying hold off on plans for end-to-end -end encryption in messaging. Now, Barr cites public safety is a concern. This is according to the Wall Street Journal. Remember, Zuckerberg outlined new plans to protect user privacy earlier this year. This was after the backlash over data breaches and Facebook's role in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. So it wouldn't seem unreasonable for Facebook to add the end to end encryption. It does, in fact, make the messages more protected. But is there a point where that becomes a problem? Potentially, yes. It's a battle over security. That's Barr's argument versus privacy. That's Facebook's argument. Think back to the shooting in San Bernardino, the Apple iPhone of the shooter. The government needed to get into that phone and it couldn't, and Apple wouldn't help. Now, eventually, a third party did open the phone, but should it be that hard when public safety is involved? In the case with Facebook, Barr made the request in an open letter also signed by his British and Australian counterparts. The journal reports that letter is going to be published tomorrow. In this letter, Barr asks Facebook to hold off on encryption until it can find a way to give the government access to the messaging services for those investigative purposes. Quote, we are writing to request that Facebook does not proceed with its plan to implement end-to-end -end encryption across its messaging services without ensuring that there is no reduction to user safety and without including a means for lawful access to the content of communications to protect our citizens, end quote. Certainly, David, you can see where the rub is here. It also opens Pandora's box. Is this just about Facebook, or will the government want to access information from other companies as well? Back to you. Security versus liberty. It's quite clear. Jackie, thank you very much. Uh, Jonathan, uh, with all of your libertarian background, yeah. I can't imagine you being for <laughs> bar on this one. No, I mean, David, Facebook, it's like if they're damned if they do and damned if they don't. You know, before the government said, you're not protecting people's privacy. Then Facebook says, okay, we're going to have encrypted messages. And the government says, oh, no, no, you can't have that level of privacy. This is another way for government to get involved in a private business and a company offering a service that people want, which is private messaging. Hands off. This is another example, whether it be Facebook's cryptocurrency, which government has already said they, they want to put the kibosh on to these encrypted messages. Government has no role in regulating Facebook, Bill Barr and the rest of this administration should butt the heck out. Uh, Jonathan, how did we know that you were going to come to that conclusion? Uh, look, I disagree with you 100 percent. I think when public security is at risk, uh, you have to be able to, the government has to be able to access these messages. And there has never been a time in our country's history where phone tapping wasn't allowed, people weren't allowed to look at with people's a mail, etc. With a warrant, though, Liz. Of course. They well, have, you would have a presumably, warrant. Is, Jonathan, you'd have, the, this is just a backdoor here, key they want. I know. And I, presumably you would have to have a warrant here. It isn't just like they'd be going through everyone's phone willy-nilly. This is a case where if there's a kidnapper or a terrorist with a bomb and they know they're communicating with other members of their group via a, a message, that, a message app that you cannot penetrate, the government has to be able to access that. That's the end of this story and I think it's a pretty reasonable request. But Liz, to your point, if you have a warrant, they would pr be futile because it's already encrypted and that means that they are not putting a back door. So they don't put a back door, well, then it's that's encrypted. The they're, so, they're asking yes, them right. to put in a back door. So to Jonathan's point, I think that you know, you're, going, you're going after a, a business. You're trying to get their information. People want privacy. That's something that we're going to value in the future. And if anything, mm -hmm. you can start using Telegram, because Telegram uh, encrypts all of their messages. But to your point, what they raise is the child pornography. So Jonathan, when you have a world that is increasingly involved in the oh, social media, everything online is just in our daily lives, and child pornography, uh, tra trafficking that's going on, even Facebook's platform. Do you not want to combat that? Yeah, certainly, Christina. I mean, you, Christina, you're so great with the, the red herrings. Child pornography <laughs> is illegal. It's a, ter it's a terrible scourge, and it should be prosecuted. But that shouldn't be used as an excuse to violate the rights it's of their Facebook excuse, and so every I'm American to, 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 to have a private encrypted email if that's what they want to use. That can't be the excuse but, to violate people's rights. But the real rights. question, Jonathan, is whether or not there should be a back door in some of these encryptions for the police, for the CIA, whoever considers it to be a national or local emergency, don't you think if there is a warrant and a legitimate reason, there should be a backdoor for authorities? 
David, this this technology hasn't even been launched yet. I think that's the whole point. But then, but if it, it will government, be. you're avoiding pre the question, which is not usual for you. If <laughs> if the technology is is hammered down, should there be a back door for authorities to get in if they need to? It has on WhatsApp. I, I, they're just. I, I think it is. I think it, it is up to the judge to issue the warrant, and I don't think it's Facebook's responsibility to provide it. That's my opinion but, as a but civil libertarian. But supposing that there is a warrant and Republicans and it used can't to agree. be executed because of this encryption. That kind of renders the warrant moot. That's really the whole point. A, a warrant would only be issued if there was really a, a security issue of substantial importance, okay. and we have to be able to get it. By the way, I think it's pretty right. crazy so that Facebook is so intent on privacy. Uh, yeah, but that's that's right. just privacy. one last thing, Liz, quick, quick, then quick, you're quick. saying the government, we trust the government. To Jonathan's point, we trust the government not to take advantage of that back door. Sometimes I, you we need do. the government for you our safety's sake. Oh!